clean technology. 41 NBC, clear, accurate, to the point. Now, your no wait 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast. Well, good morning to you in Middle Georgia. Here you are looking live at the 41 Sky View this morning right here in the downtown Macon area. This morning, temperatures are at 61 degrees. Pretty nice start to your day, but we are seeing uh, winds out of the north northeast at 7 miles per hour. Radar is currently clear this week. Uh, this uh, right now, but we did see rainfall this weekend that caused over uh, three inches in some spots. I'll tell you that detail coming up in a few minutes though, but right now looking at temperature 61 in Macon, 61 Warner Robins, even 60 Forsyth, 59 now the cool spot in Sparta, 50, 64 in Abbeville. But as we head through the day, we're going to see plenty of sunshine. That sunshine is going to get, <laughs> excuse me, continue into the afternoon as well. 3 p.m. 82 degrees plenty of sunshine sunshine even continues into 7 p.m. 81 degrees going to be a nice afternoon for outdoor plans and nice afternoon for evening plans so go ahead and head out and enjoy this uh, marvelous Monday weather uh, but we are going to get another opportunity for a great day Tuesday and Wednesday in high definition this is 41 NBC News at daybreak All right, good morning, Middle Georgia. Today is Monday, May 20th, 2024. Thank you for watching 41 NBC News at Daybreak. I'm Denise Turner. All right, now our top story this morning, a teenager is in the Bibb County Jail after he led deputies on a vehicle chase Friday afternoon. Now, this is video from their Facebook page. According to the deputies, they tried to stop a stolen vehicle on Jeffersonville Road. And they say after a short pursuit, the driver of the vehicle, 17-year-old Andrew Howard, crashed at the intersection of Riverside Drive and Madison Streets. They say Howard then took off towards the Rose Hill Cemetery before being caught. Howard is being charged with multiple charges, including two counts of felony theft by taking audio. The drivers of a school bus and car were taken to the hospital after a crash that happened Friday afternoon in Monroe, in Monroe County. According to the Bibb County, according to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to a crash involving the school bus just after 430. They say it happened on Highway 83 North and Old Cabinus Road. Deputies say that the driver of the lost control when rounding a curve and collided with the bus. The deputies say that the bus was empty at the time of the crash. No word on the condition of either of the drivers. And news across the nation, more than hundreds of graduates from Georgia, from George Washington University, walked out of their graduation commencement ceremony on Friday. The walkout was in protest to the ongoing war in Gaza. Chance for change from some 50 people outside George Washington University's commencement ceremony. And we will never, ever stop fighting for a free Palestine. And inside, too. Around 100 graduates walked out in two large waves during the university president's speech. <laughs> joining the mostly college-age protesters across the street. All of this happening in the weeks since GW students and area protesters set up an encampment at University Yard, calling for GW to divest from companies supporting Israel's military operations in Gaza. Police broke up that encampment about two weeks later, arresting more than 30 people they say wouldn't leave the private campus after multiple warnings. I'm proud to be a graduate and I'm proud to have students standing with me. GW graduate Amani Ali was among those who walked out today. As someone who's half Palestinian, she says it was something she had to do. So we got a lot of pushback from a lot of guests um, chanting the national anthem at us, telling us to go home, go back to our country. But the students really stood in solidarity together. It was a really nice moment. But for onlookers like David Baraski, Everything is well done except the protesting. He says all of this somewhat soured his granddaughter's graduation. Why would you do it? I mean, wh what's the purpose of it at an event like this? You're not going to make a difference with like, the people that are at this event. You're not going to make a big difference in them. It's, it might be a just cause for them, but it's not for me, so 
It just had no meaning to me. Other graduates we caught up with were understanding. I completely understand and respect the, the passion that the students feel for the cause. But the minute we want to talk about issues that matter, they arrest us! As for student organizers and their fellow now alumni, they say their fight continues, even though school's out. We will not stop until they properly come to the negotiation table in good faith. Uh, and until they do, we're going to be out on the streets. The state media in Iran have confirmed that President Ibrahim Rassi and died along with Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian. They say both men were on a helicopter that crashed into the mountains near Providence in Iran. They say they were traveling to another part of the country when the incident happened. They believe that everyone on board died. The state media later reported that the bodies of those killed in that deadly helicopter crash, including Iranian president and foreign minister, will be transported to the city of Tabriz. They say that the bodies were found during a search effort. When daybreak continues, the crews involved in the Baltimore shipwreck have been stuck on that ship for weeks. Find out why, but first, good morning trivia. Well, good morning to you in Middle Georgia. Here we are looking at your daybreak trivia question for this Monday morning. You can go to 41NBC.com slash vote now to vote in what uh, state did Benjamin Franklin represent? Was it A, New York, B, New Jersey, C, Delaware, or D, Pennsylvania? You can go to 41NBC.com slash vote now to vote on today's daybreak trivia question. The answer will be revealed in the 6.30 half hour of daybreak. For weather updates on the go, download the 41NBC AccuWeather app and follow 41NBC on Facebook and Twitter. The Lee and Haley Show, weekdays at noon on 41NBC. Hi, and welcome everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that we have agents standing by right now to answer your legal questions. So if you've been injured in an accident that was not your fault, call now. Find out if you have a case and how much is potentially worth. I'm Gina Belich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin. So Tom, tell everyone watching at home who should call right now. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the studio. Now, as far as who should call in, the answer is anyone who's been injured in an accident that was not your fault should give us a call right now. Agents are standing by to answer any questions you may have and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. So what kind of calls are we seeing today? Well, Gina, we're getting calls about all types of accidents, but the most common has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, take that first step and give us a call. We'll answer your questions and you'll find out if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. Call now. Sometimes it takes a different approach to see the possibilities all around you. Thank you for coming together. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, take courses on your own terms and apply the skills you learn right away. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness? If you've ever experienced the warning signs of bad circulation, then you need Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. Soothe pain and calm restless legs. Reduce swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet and stimulate healthy circulation. Stay active with Legsercise Pro. When you need a fighter, you need us. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Most insurance companies are big, really big. Imagine, you're injured and now you have to fight for justice. Our results and reputation are well known to the other side. As America's largest injury firm, our army will fight like hell for you. We have the resources to take on the biggest insurance companies in America. When you're fighting to get what you deserve, it's go big or go home. When you need a fighter, you need us. Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. 
Well, good morning to you in Middle Georgia. Here we are looking live at the 41 Sky View right here in the downtown Dublin area. 63 degrees this morning. Current temperature, you can see the sun is starting to rise. No sunshine yet, but definitely you can see some daylight outside right now. Mid to upper 80s for a few days, so that's going to be a nice uh, change of pace uh, after seeing a bunch of rain this weekend. We are going to be drying out, but however, rain is possible late uh, this week. But looking at the radar, excuse me, this morning uh, we are seeing a clear radar, so no rainfall uh, right now. Uh, and that will continue to be the case uh, through uh, most of this week into the weekend. But temperatures right now 61 in Macon, 63 in Soberton, 63 in McRae. Looking at satellite and radar, we are seeing a few showers and thunderstorms across uh, the southern portions of Georgia, uh, also into Florida. Area low pressure uh, just under the 41 NBC logo there, and that is in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, but looking at winds right now, gusting up to 9 miles per hour in Macon. No severe threat for today, so that is a good thing. Uh, that will probably be the case for the foreseeable future, especially into the weekend. 84 degrees for today in Macon. 83 in Wrightsville, Sandersville as well. 82 down in Eastman. Looking at Vienna, 83 for this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, so get out and enjoy it. Looking at low temperatures for tonight. As we start off your election day tomorrow, it's going to be a nice start to your day. 61 degrees in Macon. 60 in Dublin, 60 in Cochran, and no excuse not to vote for tomorrow because it's going to be perfect weather. 86 in Macon, 85 in Warner Robins, 85 in Cochran. But as we head into our future cast, we're going to see plenty of sunshine, a little more clouds on this radar than I'm expecting, uh, this future cast rather, than I'm expecting. But we will see a little bit of clouds Tuesday morning. But just look at this, folks. It's going to be a gorgeous day as we head into your Tuesday and into Wednesday. Only going to see rainfall chances uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just a 30% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Not going to amount to much rainfall. And then for this afternoon, we're going to be gusting out of the east to east, northeast from 11 to 5 p.m. at 8 miles per hour. Muggy cast for today into this week. We're going to be pretty muggy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then downright humid Thursday, Friday, and then close to very humid on Saturday. I bet we do reach that very humid on Sunday uh, because temperatures are going to be close to 90. I'll have the seven-day forecast in just 10 seconds. Every new volume Chevrolet comes with our exclusive 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty, 24-hour roadside assistance, and oil changes for life. Volume Chevrolet! Here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. Mid-80s for today, we're going to see plenty of sunshine. Election day is going to be perfect as well. A little bit warmer in the upper 80s at 87 degrees. Still plenty of sunshine. That will last into your Wednesday as well. 88 degrees Wednesday. Thursday, 91, uh, partly cloudy skies. Afternoon thunderstorm chances return for the weekend.